Tom seems pretty excited. He's compared you guys depth-wise to the 2005 team. Are, are, you, are you familiar with the 05 team or probably not? Uh, no, not really. Like Maurice yeah. Ager, Drew Neitzel, uh -huh. Shannon Brown, those kind of guys. Yeah, they had, I mean, I know they had a lot of contributors coming off the bench also. And uh, I know we might be one of the you know, best teams and best shooting teams in the, in the country. Uh, I know we had a lot of adversity coming off the bench and, you know, a lot of talent. Uh, you know, I mean, we, I think we have a good season. Does that put pressure on you guys as the players when he's starting to say, hey, you mentioned the, the 05 team, arguably top to bottom, was probably his best team. Does that put, is that, does that put pressure on you guys at all? No, I don't put pressure on us. Uh, I think it probably motivates us to, you know, be better than that, that 05 team, you know. Uh, you know, we want to win, win and hang banners up just how the past teams did, and, you know, win national championships, and that's always the goal. For you personally, just I mean, what what has the the past year been like? Not only athletically, but you know, personally, having battles with injury. Uh, yeah. Uh, this past summer, you know, I've just been been working a lot. You know, you know, just staying focused on the goal and you know, working on my body, working on my game. And, you know, just staying focused. Like I said, uh, you know, and I know my teammates and the coaches have been doing a great job of helping me do that. Is there, is there one thing like in your game that you that you can point it over the summer and said, hey, I'll, I want to do this better? Uh, you know, just staying consistent. You know, uh, <laughs> just just working them all around game, defensive uh, and offensively. You know, just just staying consistent. And, you know, just that's it. How how much has Tom changed over the past? I mean, now <laughs> entering your third year, how how has he changed, if at all? Uh. You know, I, I don't know if he changed a, a lot, but he might change a little bit. And, you know, I mean, we see every day that, that his goal is always to win, win, win. And, uh, you know, me and my teammates are on the same page. That's all we want to do. So, I mean, I don't think he changed a lot. Dude, what do you think that Final Four did for him last year? Not only giving him the seventh Final Four, but, I mean, do you... Did it kind of like increase the fire? Because now, hey, we're we're real close to a title. We're he, he said knocking on the door during mm -hmm. his press conference. What what did that do for him, and what did that do for you guys? Uh, you know, I think he I think it made him realize you know how we were okay last year, but we probably have a better chance this year. You know, we got a lot more talent coming off the bench, and and whoever starts starts, and uh, you know, we we have a, a, a good team all around. I think. Uh, you know, for us, it just shows that that you know, a Final Four is not good enough. Uh, we know we knew that feeling uh, before, and we don't want to feel that like that again. And you know, we just want to win a national championship. I mean, and, and not to harp on it, but obviously the you know, 20 point loss to Duke is, is not the way that you guys want to go out. How much was that talked about over the summer? Uh, it was talked about a lot. You know, we still talk about it to this day. Uh, I know we mentioned it a few times, maybe maybe two times a week, saying we don't want to lose like that again. We don't want to lose in the Final Four, especially by 20, you know. So, uh, I mean, we say Natty at the end of every huddle, and, and that's our main focus is, is winning national championship. Have you personally ever been on, on the other end of, of a game of that magnitude that, you know, was so lopsided? Uh, I have not personally, you know. Uh, in the Final Four, that was a great experience. You know, I've never been to a Final Four of anything, high school or, you know, downstate. But, uh, you know, it was a great experience and nothing like I've seen before. Does that, to get punched like that, does that help you guys? Oh, it definitely helps us. Uh, we know, like I said before, you know, we don't want to feel how we felt. And, and we know to, to not feel that way, we have to, you know, just step it up a notch, step it up a lot, you know, and get over that hump. With, with Travis Brand and Brandon last year, you know, being, being the two main leaders, and then this year you guys were, you know, with Denzel and Matt and Brynn. Can you kind of just maybe tell us a little bit about the the differences? Or is there a difference in the leadership? Is it the same kind of? Is it the same kind, or is it always different with different, different guys? I mean, it's always different with different guys. Everybody has, you know, their different approach and, and different aspect of how they how they take on the game. And, you know, it's just different within those guys. And, I mean, you know, Denzel, he, he really pushes everybody to, you know, to to be better and be greater than what we are. And, you know, we just push each other every day. What are what are some of those things that, like, that he says to you? I imagine there's, you know, some side talk going on after plays and stuff. I mean, has he ever... I mean, he's just motivating us more, you know, than, than what he, he used to last year. 
you know, was, uh, he's a senior this year, and Matt and Brand, you know, the seniors this year, and they know it, it's almost that time to, you know, it's almost that time for them to graduate, and it's almost the time for them to leave. So, you know, it's just motivation every day. So you can you can kind of sense. I don't I don't want to call it urgency, but you can sense like a, an increased importance. Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely important to them, man, and that's what makes it important to us. Uh, we don't want to, you know, send them send them out on losing in the Final Four again or or ending up short in the Sweet 16, you know. We want to send them out winning the national championship also. You know, my, my final question for you, I know it's early, but I'm, I'm asking some of the guys just the strength of this team. I mean, you look, you look at the guys around you right now, what is the strength of this roster based on, you know, the, the practices and the conditioning that, that you've seen in the Italy tournament? <clears throat> um, you know, probably uh, right now, I can't really call it, but right now I see us staying together, you know, listening to each other, you know, taking each other's advice and it just it's the small things like that. Is that maybe something you guys didn't do last year, communication thing? I mean, yeah, we, we had we had great communication last year, you know, but uh, I can't really call everything right now. It's still early and we haven't even played a game yet, so, you know, I can't call it. For real. And, and I guess one, I'll go final question for you. Uh, again, just one shooting wise, though, he's, you know, and I think we've mentioned a little bit. Tom's really complimented the shooting. Connor George, he said, is, mm -hmm. is, a, is a hell of a shooter. You know, you got Irons, Matt McQuaid can shoot the ball. You can shoot the ball. Javon, you know, there's yeah, a lot of shooters we, on yeah, this team. Yeah, we might be uh, one of the, the, the best shooting teams in the country, I think. You know, we have a lot of depth. You know, we got a lot of shooters that, that can shoot from anywhere. And so I think it'd be tough. Uh, so for other teams to guard us.